Hey, what is going on to Nintendo Nation? Hope you're having an awesome day, and welcome to my second Pokemon Go video of the day. Originally, I was only going to make one, but the Silver Road went through the latest update that's come a bit early to some people in the world, and they found some very, very interesting things in the latest APK or latest update, whatever you want to call it. A lot of Gen 2 stuff, and a lot of future things that are coming to the game as well. Obviously, we've got Generation 2 coming this week, which is very, very exciting in itself, but there's even more things to get excited about. So without further ado, we're just going to jump into this update. So big shout out to Silk Road as always. You can follow their Reddit page. I'm going to leave a link in the description like I always do because they're seriously an incredible, devoted, passionate group of people who just love Pokemon Go. So definitely do go onto their Reddit page and follow them or, you know, join that page if you haven't already. But anyway, guys, first up, we have Avatar Customization, which we've seen quite a few pictures of. And it says, finally, we can ditch the uniform avatars we've used for the past eight months, which is fantastic. And there's a lot of options. So there's options for skin, shirt, pants, hat, shoes, eyes, gloves, socks, belt, necklace, and glasses. And it goes on to say there is a solid selection of options available freely in the new version of the app. Additionally, however, the code references the way new customization options can be acquired. Clothing appearance settings can have the following statuses. Owned, featured, purchasable, sale, and unlockable. There is also a code referencing avatar rewards, which appears to occur for the following different reasons. Medal reward, in-app purchase, and level reward. So it seems like some certain customization options can be unlocked through gaining certain medals in the game. So for example, one of the medals is catching a certain amount of tiny Rattatas, and maybe if you got that medal to gold, you could get like a, a youngster Joey outfit who has like the, obviously the famous Rattata that everyone knows about. So that would be cool to, you know, kind of get like customization and clothes and stuff like that for doing certain medals. As for in-app purchase, maybe it means if you buy a certain amount, you will get obviously some free clothes in return, which is kind of a bit of a shady one. I wouldn't really like that. And level reward is obviously just if you reach a certain level, you unlock new gear that you can wear as well, which is really, really cool. Now, the only downside to this new customization for me personally is that there is a hair option, but again, it's to only change the color of there are no new hairstyles yet. And that was kind of one of my main gripes that everyone has the same face and hair. And unfortunately, you can't change the hairstyle yet, but I'm sure that's something they will include later on in the game but a bit surprised they haven't included it in this upcoming avatar customization update but anyway let's move on to the second thing the Silk Road found in the latest update so the next thing they have found is a new badge that has been created in preparation for the incoming Johto species and this says badge pokedex entries gen 2 so this is very similar to the badge that you can get in the game already for catching over 100 kanto pokemon so it's going to be very similar to that and it's just basically a confirmation that obviously the Gen 2 Pokemon are finally here at Pokemon Go. Out of all the things they found in this latest update, that one is probably the most boring one because there's a lot of new interesting ones coming up after this one. So straight after that is a new move has been discovered, but only a single new move because I think it was in the last big update they found quite a lot of moves for Generation 2. But this new move is Hidden Power, which is obviously kind of belongs to Unknown. And I do wonder if Unknown is going to be like the ditto of the Johto region and that the fact that we're going to have to wait a long, long time to actually see Unknown appear in the game. Hopefully that isn't the case. But honestly, it really wouldn't surprise me if it takes a while for Unknown to show up. The next thing they found was key items and these are evolution items which they did mention earlier you find at Pokestops. So it says, it looks like full support is now appearing for key items to be used in evolving Pokemon. As revealed in our last ABK mine, which was like a month ago, they found Sunstone, King's Rock, Metal Coat, Dragon Scale, and Upgrade. So Sunstone is used to evolve Gloom into Blossom. King's Rock is used to evolve Slowpoke into Slowking. Metal Coat is used to evolve Cypher and Onyx into Scissor and Steelix. Dragon Scale evolves Seedra into Kingdra, and Upgrade evolves Porygon into Porygon 2. And they say we're not 100% confident these will be operational this week, but it would not surprise us one lick, and that basically just means that it's not a surprise if these aren't in the first week of Generation 2, but expect them very, very soon at the very least. Now next up is something that really, really excites me, and this is even more shiny code. So even more new code has appeared to support the implementation of shiny Pokemon variants, including shiny spawn FX, so like... Basically, FX stands for audio or sound effects. So, as I said, there were shiny spawn FX, sparkly FX, and then support shiny and play shiny FX. So, by the sounds of it, a sparkling animation will likely occur when you encounter a shiny Pokemon. Now, the Silk Road go on to say, we're unable to say whether shiny Pokemon are active in the game or not at this point. It would make sense for Shinies to appear alongside the Gen 2 launch because obviously Shinies were first introduced in Pokemon Gold and Silver, which is obviously Generation 2. Following that, they also found some stuff in the code for Critical Catch. So it says, code has appeared fleshing out the Critical Catch mechanic, which first appeared in the previous APK, but has not been implemented. The following components now appear, Critical Shake, Critical Click, 
catch success critical. Now, if you want to know what a critical catch is, I think it what it is is when you throw a Pokeball and you catch it in like one roll. It's similar in like the Pokemon games, and I think in Sun and Moon, the more Pokemon you have in your Pokedex, the more likely that critical catch will actually occur. So maybe that's the same in Pokemon Go, the more Pokemon you have in your Pokedex, or maybe depending on the amount of Pokemon you've caught of a certain type, critical catches are more likely to happen. But it's something that I'd like to see in the game because the amount of Pokemon that run away from me, even if they're low leveled or low CP, is quite frightening. So hopefully that will definitely be implemented very, very soon. Next up is new wild encounter movements. And I did mention this today in the earlier kind of Gen 2 overall update. And it says, it appears the way Pokemon interact during wild encounters has been upgraded. There are now several movement types at play rather than just wait, jump and attack. So there's jump movement state, electric movement state, psychic movement state, which I'm hoping doesn't grab the Pokeball and just throw it away. Set up hover movement nodes, set up flying movement nodes. So maybe the hovering and the flying is actually a bit more random, so it's harder to read. Hopefully that isn't the case because I waste so many Pokeballs like missing Zubats and stuff like that. But it says, keep an eye out for more creative motion when encountering wild species. Now following that is something that they've needed for a long, long time. And this is new music. And the people who have actually got the update have confirmed that there is new music in the game. So it says, the game's music appears to have undergone an upgrade as well. There appears to be separate music for day and night now, as well as new music for wild encounters in each setting. So it says, encounter music, night encounter music, map music day and map music night. So that's very, very good. Next up is a News Digest section. So it says the News Digest section appears to be in active development at this point. We look forward to an official information source in the game itself. And basically, the News Digest section basically just actually uses official updates from Pokemon Go, but you can actually view them inside the app. So it's not really the most interesting thing, and if you watch a lot of Pokemon Go news videos like this one, then it's not that useful. But for the more casual players, this will be quite helpful for them to see what they've missed in the latest updates or what's new in the Pokemon Go app. Following that is Pokeball Physics Change, so it says something appears different about Pokeball Throws. The following new physics related code has appeared, perfect launch speed and launch angle, which were absent before this version. So by the sounds of it, there is a perfect way to throw a Pokeball, and maybe by doing this, you can get that critical catch that was mentioned earlier. Honestly, I can't really work out how this will work, but if it makes catching Pokemon a lot easier, then I can't wait to see it introduced into the game. Now the next thing they found, and this is something that really, really interests me, is a new event, and the new event is called Anniversary, which has appeared alongside the past Holiday 2016 event. No word yet on what this might be celebrating, but obviously if we think about it, it's most likely it's going to be the anniversary of when Pokemon Go launched, which was officially, I think it was the 7th of July, but if you downloaded the APK early like me, we got it early on the 6th of July. So most likely it might be like their thank you event when they basically just gave out more Stardust and Candy, something like that. I definitely wouldn't say no to that because obviously with all the new Pokemon we'll want to be evolving, more Candy and more Stardust will be fantastic. And the final thing that Silph Road found was two new sponsor types. To add to the growing list of sponsor types, two more have appeared in the APK, Scooper and Muffintin. Honestly, don't know what these are, and it says still no clues to the meanings of these placeholders. Basically, in previous updates, they have found, uh, I think it was like a fork, spatula, all these kind of like food item stuff. Um, we don't really know what they relate to, and unfortunately, we still don't know what they relate to, but hopefully we will find out soon. But that is all the Silph Road found in the latest update a lot of exciting things and let me know in the comments below what was your favorite thing they found was it the shinies was it the new event was it the new wild encounter movements or the new music let me know in the comment section below and i just can't wait for generation 2 to get started in pokemon go really really excited for it and i want to kind of like share that excitement with all of you guys so we'll be doing quite a few giveaways for the first couple of months when Generation 2 is introduced. So I'll be giving away some like Google Play, like I guess uh, downloadable codes or whatever, so you can get some actual currency for the game. And obviously whatever the equivalent is on the App Store, but I'll be doing those here on YouTube and on Twitter. So make sure to follow me. Uh, my Twitter link is always in the description. So yeah, that about wraps up this video, guys. So like I said, let me know what your favorite thing was in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the like button down below. Really, really appreciate the support. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Pokemon Go and obviously all the giveaways that go alongside that, then obviously hit the subscribe button down below as well. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you on the next video. Peace!